Welcome back to the show. Uh, all this rain, followed by maybe a little bit of sunshine, means that our yards are starting to grow. And I have so many gardening questions. So glad I have this guy on speed dial, <laughs> Master Gardener Cisco Morris. Welcome to the show, my friend. Oh, it's so great to be here. I am glad to have you. I've got a question about a lilac that I'll ask you later. Like, I've only had like three blooms on my whole tree this year, but we can get to that later because today we are going to the dark side of the garden. <laughs> I thought the dark side was when you went to your wife's side of the garden and stole things. <laughs> well, that is the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> but these plants, these beautiful plants that grow so readily in the Pacific Northwest, let's talk about them. They're dark leaves with this red foliage. Yeah. What's so special about them? Well, have you noticed everything's blooming late this year? Yes. With all this rain and cold, everything's green. Green yeah. grass, green trees, green shrubs. I'm even green. You're wearing green. <laughs> Enough with all the greens, Cisco. We need color in yes, our garden. It I just agree. it adds a lot, a whole nother dimension whole to nother the garden. Another layer. And and you know what? Once they start blooming, you can make combinations. Oh, they with do. Red they go foliage. really lovely with the oh, flower. Oh la la! And you know the darker the color is of the leaves, the more the hot colors pop out. All that. <laughs> Cisco, you're also a designer. Who knew? <laughs> um, all right, so what is the preferred location for plants with red leaves, these dark foliage plants? Almost all of these that I brought in today need full sun. Okay, full now, you sun. Know, a lot of people grow Japanese maples and they think Beautiful. they have to go in the shade because most of them do. Yeah. This one's called Red Dragon. That's the picture of it right there. Oh, that's, it's the, that's the plant it came, these yep, came from? Yep, that's the okay. same one. And, uh, Oh man, I love that. That loves full sun. Just Does it really? It. And it's the slowest growing of all Japanese maples. Wow. So is it because the the leaves are so small? They're yeah, so I think delicate? that's part of it. They're so delicate, They're and not. yet I prune the liver tweedle out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the maple avoids the tweedle. No, no, it starts to shake when it sees me pull out my pruner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the plant that when I, I moved it, and you were like, stop! Is it this one here? Yes. This is, what is this called, the Barberry? Yeah, th this one is Orange Rocket Barberry. And uh, I'll pick this one up very carefully right here because these things are scary. I tried to cut the prickers off, but it's really hard to do. Yeah, they're so beautiful though. This one's Concord. Look at the, when you see it from this side, it's yeah. just so beautiful. It is, look with the red tips on it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous one. This one's a dwarf. Okay. So and this is I haven't a had to prune that much. This thing can get 12 feet high. And this is what it looks like in your garden? Yeah, Ooh. and that's after I cut it down oh, a couple years ago. Yeah, that, cut the look at how the red just makes all the other colors pop out. It, you know, I never really realized that, but it so does. It's the first color you notice when you walk you, in the garden. By the way, I see one of the prickers right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so bad. It's violence. They got how barbs. How do you prune this? Oh, I, very <laughs> carefully. <laughs> you know, the books say that you're supposed to go in there and, and cut out every third of the branches right to the no. ground. I tried that once. I, I was covered with bandages for oh. three days. It was so painful. And these those little prickers don't I mean, come out. And they're out. hiding. I mean, they're obviously, hiding. it's the oh, defense of the man. plant. Nice job, so, evolution, you know, but there's a, there's a good way to prune these. Get okay. your loppers. Just chop up right to the ground. Oh. <laughs> Cut them an inch from the ground. You get revenge too, you know. And then and then get someone else to put them in the yard waste container. So 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 this is the dark side. <laughs> this, this is the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Let's talk about my favorite plant you have here today. Is isn't this that cool? fun little guy? Oh. And his name is so great too. Yeah. So this is a uh, Filbert. Filbert. And it's called uh, Red Majestic. Red Majestic yes. Filbert. And it's a contorted Filbert. So every branch goes like this, just all I over the place. I love that. I think that's what I love most about it. I love it now. As the season goes on, the leaves turn more green. Yeah. And every new leaf, and it grows all season, come out bright red. So you always oh. got, and it's resistant to a disease that's harming some of the green filberts. Mm -hmm. And uh, now and then, you get filbert nuts on there. What is a filbert nut? What are that? Well, you know, haven't you ever ate a filbert? 
No, I've oh, never heard oh, of them. Oh, they're really I've, yummy nuts. Apparently they're in mixed nuts. Are they the yeah. big, big ones in the mixed uh, nuts? They're kind of big, yeah. They're about well, middle size. We're going to have to educate yeah. me on that later. But, uh, but guess what? What? You, you're not going to be eating those. The squirrels are the ones oh, that well, eat those. Fine. I've never beat the squirrels yet <laughs> to those things. This, this has one thing I should warn people about. What? They're all grafted. They have to do it that way. Okay. I don't know why. So you get suckers coming up, these straight green so suckers. So you have to kill, cut those you off, just right? gotta cut them off okay. and crawl in there and do it and then the job's done for the year. Okay, you know, so. because the suckers are the things that suck out the water from the rest of the plant, right? Well, it's not that they look like gradu. They're growing up through the middle. <laughs> Gradu's a Wisconsin word for not good at all. <laughs> I love all the things we're learning here today with Cisco. All right, 30 seconds left. Coral bells. What's so special about I coral bells? I love these things so much. So there are about 8 million different kinds of little coral bells. They're called heucheras that you could get. Look at the color in They're these. They're beautiful. And they keep Green their color the really well. They're evergreen. Red on that and side. up there on the top is a little bud. That's going to send out little teensy Coral bell flowers. Little coral bells. Little I didn't baby think coral bells. birds like them. I had friends over for dinner on our 44 inch table, six of us. I made a bouquet with coral bell and flowers. And there were hummingbirds? Hummingbirds came between Into your us table? and went to the flowers on the heucra. There One you have it. One kept trying to stick its beak in my ear, which is frustrating <laughs> when you're trying to Aww. enjoy a Brussels sprout casserole. <laughs> what, what can you do? What can you do? Ooh la la.